bought the glove and smothered the play before it could go high. Center Colin Fraser has been another uh, important player in this playoff run for the Kings, and right now he's with Patrick O'Neill. All right, Colin, uh, congratulations on, on another win. This is just outstanding hockey that we're witnessing tonight. Uh, it was, was it the effort? Did you, did you notice? I mean, listen, both you guys had to fly out here after, after a brutal overtime game. What was the difference tonight? Um, I don't know. I mean, Quickie, I think, at the beginning. Uh, early in the game certainly held us in it. I think uh, they probably carried the play the first period. Um, obviously, the five on three. Uh, not only Quickie, but uh, Greener and Stoli and Scuds were unbelievable, really. And uh, once that happened, I think we kind of woke up a little bit and took it over and, and started playing hockey. You know, Colin, I don't know if I'll get a chance to, to talk to, to Simone Gagne here with, for our show, but I imagine for him, you know, emotional for him to play in his first, uh, you know, in this Stanley Cup game here tonight after all he's been through. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been f five months or whatever since yeah. Christmas time. Uh, obviously a, a great player, and uh, for me, it was an honor to play with a guy like that, really. I mean, uh, I uh, kind of grew up watching him a little bit, really. He's uh, not that he's that much older than me, but a little bit older than me, and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit. But he's uh, obviously a, a top player, and he's a very smart player. And I think uh, after he got the first couple of shifts under his belt, he settled in nicely, and, and uh, we started to roll a little bit after that. You know what the media is going to say, right? I mean, you guys are 15 and two. He, he, it's over, right? I mean, it's three. That's what that's what it's going to be written about. But it's not. It's that the fourth one is sometimes the hardest one to win. Just give me an example of what's being talked about with the coaching staff, what you as players are thinking of as you go into this closeout game to win the cup. Uh, definitely the fourth one's the hardest one to win. Uh, hardest one to win. We talk about it every series, and uh, we've been in this position before. And uh, you know we lost one to Vancouver and we lost one to uh, Phoenix, and this is the finals. I mean they're not going to go away. New Jersey's here for a reason. They're a good team. Um, you know the old cliche: we got to take it one game, one period at a time. It works. And, um, obviously, it's we're, we've put ourselves in a good position, but uh, we got to approach like it's 0-0 and uh, not get too ahead of ourselves. Colin, thank you very much. Thank you. I think Colin Fraser has the right attitude. Guys, back to you. Well, Patrick, thanks very much. There was certainly a buzz in Los Angeles here with the Kings following the playoffs. There was a buzz before the game because mm -hmm. of the decision with Simo Gagne coming back into the lineup. And with the record the Kings had and you know, why make a decision, why the, there's a lot of different things, uh, a lot of different reasons we've talked about perhaps just trying to refocus, reset, right. because maybe you start thinking ahead, and when you bring a guy back like that in the lineup, the guys around him can say, okay, let, let's do it for him, those types of things. There's talk about, you know, the criteria to get your name on the Stanley Cup mm -hmm. is to play one game at least in the final series. Right. So that, I don't know how much that went into it, but I think Daryl Sutter might have taken it the other way and said, okay, you know, Simon Gagne has played so long, this is his chance, and maybe Daryl looks at the veterans on the team and, the, you know, the, the leadership group mm -hmm. and says, you have the responsibility of helping him right. and create a team concept mm -hmm. with bringing one guy, an individual, back in the lineup. Well, Colin Fraser uh, said that the next one's the toughest to win. The Kings have only lost two games at home, and they've both been in a game four in the playoffs, and that's coming up on Wednesday. Jay Kopitar had a goal and an assist. Jeff Carter had a goal. We'll hear from them when we come back.